Hi, Stefan Molay, San Diego criminal defense lawyer and partner at the law office of David P. Shapiro, where we help good people regain control of their future when charged with a crime. One of the most important parts of my job is evaluating whether my client's constitutional rights were violated. In this video, I'm going to explain why whether a person is legally detained can make a huge difference in a case and things you can do to make my life easier and your case stronger. If there is a reasonable suspicion of criminal activity, the police is allowed to assert their authority and restrict your freedom for a reasonable amount of time. It would therefore be a legal detention. It is the first step to what can quickly unravel into a search or a conversation that may lead to an incriminating admission. On the other hand, if you are approached by a police officer but there's no objective, reasonable suspicion of criminal activity, it's considered a consensual encounter. In that case, it's just two people having a conversation, one of them happening to be a cop who has something in mind about you. If you are detained and that detention leads to something, I can file a motion to suppress, arguing that they had no business detaining you, and therefore, everything they found is a fruit of the illegal detention, and therefore should get thrown out. If a judge agrees that there was not enough evidence that you were involved in something illegal, then the illegally obtained evidence gets suppressed. However, the prosecution will sometimes argue that none of the usual constitution, constitutional protections apply because there was no detention by police. It was simply a consensual encounter. When fighting the issue in court, there are a number of factors a judge is going to consider in figuring out who's right, such as whether law enforcement used their authority to interfere with your free movement. Think of lights and sirens or grabbing the person to stop them. So what steps can you take or what can you take from this? If a cop stops you or comes up and starts talking to you, respectfully ask whether you're being detained. Then express your intention to leave since you're not being detained and safely go about your business. Hope this was helpful. Have questions, give me a call. Stefano Malaya, San Diego criminal defense lawyer, 619-295-3555.